The objective of this project was to design a simple wing structure by following the standard engineering design process, which consists of four stages, conceptual design, preliminary design, detailed design, and finally, evaluation and acceptance. If the final product can still be improved after the evaluation stage is complete, the process is repeated with the improved design. Before beginning the first design stage, we created this timeline for the group to follow. In the conceptual design phase, we started by reviewing the technical specifications and requirements given in the brief. After some group discussion, initial sketches were drawn up of the main components required. The spar, the ribs, the leading edge and the trailing edge. Before moving on to the next stage, we did some background research to find out the general structural configuration that was required. For example, comparing a stressed skin design to a load carrying spar design. In the preliminary design stage, we inputted values of the spar's geometry into Microsoft Excel to predict the performance of the spar design so that it could meet the requirements set out in the previous stage, while also achieving minimum mass. To accomplish this, we applied beam theory to calculate bending moments and torsion, and to obtain values for stress on the spar. Excel is a very useful engineering tool in this stage, as it can run calculations very quickly, which saves a lot of time and allows us to go back and change individual input values without having to do all the maths again from scratch. We also adjusted the location of the spar within the rib, making sure it fitted correctly to reduce the risk of failure. Foam board's material properties and standard geometry were also used in the Excel calculations to decide the final spar design. In the detailed design section, we needed to test the wing under torsion and bending. We used the data obtained in Excel to accurately design the wing in 3D CAD software, specifically SOLIDWORKS. For the overall wing assembly, we need to design and manufacture a spar, ribs and the leading and trailing edges. The spar is the most important of the required parts as it provides the main structural support for the wing and is the heaviest component. SOLIDWORKS enabled us to run tests on the fully assembled wing for stress and displacement under torque and point load forces. This allowed us to identify any potential weaknesses in the design so that we could return to the previous design stage to optimise the wing. One of the changes we made was cutting out circles in the centre of the ribs to reduce the overall weight of the wing. The test showed us that the ribs experienced very little stress and deflection, so this design change would not greatly affect the structural composition of the wing. The final stage is evaluation and acceptance. This is where we analysed our design by creating graphs such as tip deflection and a breakdown of mass. Using this analysis, we were able to discuss some of the design changes that we could make to optimise the wing and reduce mass, such as tapered spars or general changes to the spar geometry. This is where the four-stage design process reiterates, as we would return to the drawing board with our new design ideas. Finally, it is important to realise that there are some limitations to our design. Computer simulations can never replace real-life experiments, as there are some factors unaccounted for in computerised testing. We also made some assumptions for the simplicity of design, such as foam board being isotropic. Thank you for watching how we went about the wing design project. <laughs>